Starting America. Thomas so Jefferson and his writings. By Path McCarthy. Jefferson's ideas. Thomas Jefferson was a man of many ideas. He was more modern in his thinking than many other people of his time. He believed in liberty for everyone. He was good at starting his ideas clearly in his writing. Much of our government is based on Jefferson's ideas. He wrote some of our country's most important documents. Jefferson was born on April 13, 1743, at Shadwell, a family farm in Virginia. He had seven brothers and sisters. When Jefferson was born, Virginia belonged to England. It was one of England's 13 colon colonies in what is now the United States. Jefferson's Education When Jefferson was two years old, the family moved to a plantation. They were living there when Jefferson started school. There he learned to read, write, and do arithmetic. Jefferson's father later sent him to school to learn French, Greek, and Latin. From his father, Jefferson learned to be independent. His father told him, Never ask another to do for you what you can do or for yourself. When Jefferson was 14, his father died. Jefferson attended another school for two years. When he was 16, Jefferson went to the College of William and Mary. He made friends with a profession, with a professor, Dr. William Small, who introduced him to people close to the governor. After two years, Jefferson left college to study law with George With, a nano lawyer. The two men discussed important legal cases, and Jefferson read law books. He attended court to watch lawyers in action. Jefferson later wrote that With was my faithful and beloved mentor, teacher, endowed and was affectionate friend through life. Jefferson enters politics. Jefferson became a lawyer in 1767. Two years later, he was elected to the House of Burgesses, Virginia's lawmaking body. Jefferson, like many other Virginians, was unhappy with British rule. Jefferson settles down. In 17. 17- 72. Jefferson married Martha Wales Skelton. He built a house named Monticello on the land he had inherited. The colonists were becoming unhappy with British rule. They thought they should be free to make their own laws and be a direct democracy. They thought England had too much control. In 1774, Jefferson wrote a booklet about the colonists' rights. In it, he said that the English government did not have the right to make laws for the colonies since the colonists had no representative. This booklet was called A Summary View of the Rights of British America. The colonies declared independence. In 1774, a council called the First Continental Congress met in Philadelphia. Representatives from most colonies were there to discuss the problems with England. The next year, the Second Continental Congress decided the colonies should declare their independence from England. A committee was chosen. They chose Jefferson to write the document. Jefferson spent two weeks working on this document. He tried to express how most Americans were feeling. He explained this belief that when men tried to settle problems with those who ruled them and could not, they had the right to break ties with the ruling nation. He later said that the Declaration of Dependence was meant to be an expression of the American mind. 
Signing of the Declaration of Independence. The Congress passed the Declaration of Independence. It was sig- signed on July 4th of 1776. It was read to the public on July 8th. The colonies fight for independence. The colon, the colonies were now fighting the revolutionary war to gain their freedom from England. The war would last eight years. In 1777, Jefferson wrote another important document called the Virginia Statue of Religious Freedom. In this document, Jefferson said that the government should not in- interfere with anyone's religious freedom. A person should have the freedom to believe and worship as he or she chose. Personal liberty was very, was very important to Jefferson, and this can be seen in most of his writings. In 1779, Jefferson was elected governor of Virginia. This was one of the worst times of Jefferson's life. It was his re- responsibility to keep the people of Virginia safe from the British attackers. But Virginia did not have enough money to buy the supplies or food that the colonial soldiers need. The British attacked several places in Virginia and even controlled Monticello for a while. Many people blamed blame Jefferson for Virginia's problems. Jefferson returned to Monticello. Jefferson's time as governor ended before the war did. He went back to Monticello where he wrote a book about Virginia. It was published several years later. Jefferson wrote a book about Virginia, along with many other documents. The next year, Jefferson's wife, Martha, died soon after the birth of their sixth child, Lucy. Jefferson was so sad that he would not come out of his room for three weeks. His daughter, mother, was the only person he would allow into the room with him. Jefferson served his country. Jefferson, however, could not stay in his room forever. His country needed him and Jefferson was willing to serve. He was elected to the new Congress in 1783 and wrote several important documents. Soon, Jefferson was asked to go to France to help Adams and Benjamin Franklin make treaties with several of the nations of Europe. So the United, so the new United States could trade with them. Sir Jefferson agreed to grow. Go.